on June 26, 2020, at 12 a.m. GMT, a Cold Space Rescue Challenge map was issued to ICO participants from around the world. All participants were given 24 hours to develop AI strategies to solve the same challenge. In Cold Space Rescue Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate algorithms and strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. Additionally, they have to search and collect objects while competing with another team's robot that is also searching and collecting objects in the same real and virtual worlds. During the challenge, the robot needs to overcome barriers, avoid traps, and swamps. If the robot successfully makes a deposit, the points of the objects deposited will be doubled. The virtual field has been divided into a 3 by 3 matrix. When the robot moves into each section, the robot's corresponding location information will be assigned to the robot. Location information can be used for the development of AI algorithms and strategies, such as path planning and search algorithms. The winner of the challenge will be the robot with the highest points. Hello everyone, I'm Anir Goenka from Singapore, a student of the Masik Primary School. I have taken part in Cold Space Rescue First Step twice and this is the first time that I am taking part in the Cold Space un Rescue Under 12 Challenge. I have been doing robotics for the past 3 years and it has been a very enjoyable and a great learning experience. Let me share my strategy for this competition. First, I created a simple flowchart to move my robot, collect the objects, avoid traps. Secondly, as soon as my left or right color sensor detect the orange area, I turn my robot towards the deposit box. As you can see, I use the blue marker to turn towards the deposit box when loaded uh, objects is more than five and use the key action uh, turn turn uh, to angle um, in this video I program my robot to follow the wall whenever a super or super plus object is created until it collects that super object my other strategy includes using the position X and position Y location to move my robot fast or slow to increase my chances of collecting more objects. I have to tune my program based on the new map shared each time by the organizer. I had a great learning experience. This is the first time I had participated in something as cool as I could. This taught me to be patient and keep trying until I get my program to work as per my expectation. Finally, thanks to the organizers for providing us the platform to showcase our programming skills during this home-based learning period. Thank you. Hello, Cool Space. I am Mina Ahmed Aysatiya from Alexandria, Egypt. I'm in RCAP Co Space Rescue Challenge competition, U12. I'll talk first about robotics in my life. I started robotics by software. I learned software three years ago. Uh, I learned Scratch and Pipe. Then ROV, and I won the second place with my team. Then Robotica, and I learned there lots of things. And finally, Coach Yosra, and she learned me algor algorithm as a tool to use in coding in Scratch, Python, CoSpace, and C++ to code on CoSpace. I'll talk now about my strategy. Uh, the first strategy is the avoid obstacles. I depend on it depends on 
US left and US right. Uh, because if US left is bigger, so that means that the place is bigger. So we have to turn to US left or the left side. And the same way on the right. Uh, then the avoid trap. The avoid trap depends on wheel and speed. Uh, uh, the wheel, I needed negative 20, negative 100, so the robot can go back and turn at the same time. And I need the, and I made the speed constant, but that was uh, when I know that uh, there is uh, X and Y. Uh, I made the speed constant in Y0, so uh, the robot uh, can be slow in there, so we can detect the color carefully. And of course, Y0 in uh, a map of 27 June. That's of course because the traps are just in Y0. Uh, now, and then actually, uh, we I started the, the taking object. The taking object is like injured people. Uh, I have to save them quickly. Okay, so I made the negative 30 the wheels negative 30 70 so the robot can go all over around the map uh then i the fourth thing was the forward i made the forward uh by the us front when us front increase the speed increase when us front decrease speed also decrease. and number five which is the hospital. It is the deposit actually. Uh, I call it the hospital because it's the place that I put the injured people in. Uh, and it's not the deposit, it's finding the deposit. Uh, it depends on turn two and markers. Uh, then, and of course, X and Y, the find the deposit. The sixth thing is the super object. It depends on super object number, super object X, super object Y, wall tracker, and to make wall tracker, you need US left and US right. US right. The seventh thing and the last thing and the main strategy, it is staying in blue area, which depends on the variables time and d uh, the hard thing and the problem solving in in it was to make the robot get out in certain time and go there in duration while he can uh, go from a statement to a statement that was uh, really hard but a solved uh, now, I'll tell you about the things that was hard to me. The hardest thing to make was the blue area. And I told you that, that uh, the problem solving was uh, to make the robot uh, go in a duration and things like that. The second hard thing was to go to the deposit. To go to the deposit, I made lots of things. It was like a journey to to make, and it's like uh, a maze. So I finally got it. I'll tell you now of my last project and my goals. The last project and the last thing I made uh, was a mixture of. C language, uh, which I learned in Robotica, electronics, which I learned also in Robotica, cool space, which I learned by Gold Shiosa. I made a cool space robot, but with just ultrasound. And now my goals. Uh, so uh, the things that I will make is that. You will see me again in Japan competition. Bye!
and off we go! In this demo game, we will minimize any manual intervention. Red Robot is searching in the blue special area. Any objects picked up in this area will double in value. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot is full. Blue robot needs to make a deposit before it can continue collecting. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is full. Blue robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. It can generate a super object. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Blue Robot picks up Super Object. That's 90 points. Red Robot is searching in the Blue Special Area. Any objects picked up in this area will double in value. Red Robot has a set of red, black, and cyan objects. It can generate a super object. Blue Robot is full. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is full. Red Robot is depositing. Looks like a close match. Red Robot is depositing. Blue Robot picks up Super Object. That's 90 points. Blue Robot is depositing. Red Robot is depositing.
One minute left. Red robot is depositing. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Blue Robot wins this challenge. Congratulations.